Tonight's contestants could be in the running for some fabulous prizes, including a new carton of milk. Now, Anthony, I'm an idiot. I keep forgetting what you do here on the show. Could you please explain it for the folks at home? I make sure everyone's playing fair and, and everyone's playing by the book. Do you throw the book at anyone? Hungry for the opportunity. There is no actual book. I'm also hungry for a book. Because you love the rules, don't you? <laughs> love the rules, David. How, mu how much do you love the rules, Anthony? Well, I'm glad you asked me, David, because just this week I saw someone breaking the rules and I set them on fire. <laughs> Contestants are like children, David. They're allowed to break the rules as long as they understand there'll be consequences. And just like children, keep them in a room with no windows and give them intermittent ice showers morning, noon and night. Who are tonight's contestants? Yes, our first contestant <laughs> is the first, last, only Mohican. Our first contestant, unless I've mixed up my cards, is absolutely a woman. He also lives in a big gothic castle on a hill and has scissors for hands. <laughs> Hold on to your horses because she's a noted horse thief. Our second contestant this evening is a woman who needs no introduction. <laughs> Contestants on 31 Questions stay at Melbourne's first class California hotel. Colour television, colour bed sheets. It's like a little piece of Los Angeles down under. Can I ask Anthony, is, it cr is cream oh, in that dish? Eggs we were looking for. Oh. Would you put cream in that? I anyway? would. I tell you what, because B would put cream in her pasta a la carbonara, let's give her half a point. What if she wanted to put like... Poison. Well, that would be another half a point, David. Jeez, it's not rocket science. It's the one where we quote the movies, where Sophie Anthony and I quote a few motion picture scenes. I don't remember you. What? I don't remember you. We're the band! Candy? Do you already know if I'm going to take it? Oh, look at my stupid horrid haircut, everyone. You look like you have a question. Someone kidnap Dinky Doodle. <laughs> What are the scores, Sophie? The scores couldn't be more fair. Time to change the scores. <laughs> Can we give him any points for that? No points for anyone. Congratulations, Kindness Champion. That question was worth 60 points. <laughs> and as it is the Kindness Round, those 60 points will go straight to your opponent. <laughs> what did you think of tonight's contestants? Whoever the winner is certainly deserved to win. And the loser... Well, I mean, they certainly deserve to lose, didn't they, David? <laughs> a pancake, my front car tyre, and uh, Simone's performance. Name three things that were flat. David, these have been my favourite contestants yet. Oh, wait. It's still this episode. Tell them what she's won! Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 yes. Dave, as David's warped, twisted face <laughs> smiles your midnight demons away. <laughs> Jeez.